Are you tired of spending a lot of money and getting absolutely nothing you wanted? Head on over to MrMuttCoin.com for the cheapest, safest, most reliable coins on the net. And are you also looking for training points to power up that player to make him just a little bit better? Training is also available on the website. Link is down below in the description. What up, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Jess. Welcome back to another Madden 19 video. Hopefully, you guys are doing fantastic. So, we are going to go on ahead and get a game and whip the Kansas City Chiefs. Seeing a few people going ahead and requested them. Once again, man, let me know in the comment section which teams you guys would prefer me to use next. So, the Chiefs, obviously, first team comes to mind. Tyreek Hill, the fastest player in the game, should be damn near unguardable. 99 speed, 99 acceleration. They don't call this man the cheetah for no reason. He's the fastest player in the league, so I know he's going to be unguardable. Right? You got to completely pay extra attention to him and start you know, shifting people around and doing this and doing that because he will absolutely dominate you if you do not prepare for the type of speed he has. And also, we have Patrick Mahomes, great arm. Someone that can go on ahead and just completely throw it over the top. And someone that can go on ahead and, uh, you know, be able to get the ball to my man, Tyreek Hill, when we take off and, meow, and just start running past people. So, a very good offense. You see, you take a look at the 92 overall offense, but an 82 overall defense. Now, we are going up against the Minnesota Vikings. And I've told you guys plenty of times, every pretty much every time I do these videos, head-to-head -head is so completely different and it takes some time getting used to because uh the players are completely different you're missing a lot of things i'm used to ultimate team like an ultimate team all my linebackers have 99 block shed you know 90 plus speed and high awareness and all that stuff so it's, it can be very difficult to run the ball sometimes like here he's just running the ball second and i just can't get any sheds i, I noticed that 82 defense right away i i can't stop his run like it didn't take me long to realize i can't stop his run right there I blitzed, but I did not pass commit. If I pass commit, that's a sack. Instead of the CPU going for the running back, he goes for the quarterback. That's why pass committing, you know, that's the difference between pass committing and not, is that if it is a play action, they won't go for the running back. They will go for the quarterback every single time. And unfortunately, I did not that time because I'm not sure if they're going to run the ball or not. Second and sixth right here, and I'm trying my best to try and lock him up. I'm trying blitzes, and um, he's just doing a good job of getting rid of the ball, getting rid of the ball quickly. Right there, he had someone deep over the middle, but thankfully Jones comes around with the shed at the right time for the sack before he can go ahead and deliver the pass because that guy was wide open over the deep end route. So here we go on offense for the first time and of course i want to go on ahead and you know use his explosive offense but everson green has other plans very next play second 19 and everson green goes on ahead and make himself uh you know he uh re reintroduces himself so right there you notice he pressed right and i'm like wait a minute you can't do that with a cheetah you just can't go on ahead and press with tyree kill 99 speed so we chuck it up we get the beautiful rack animation and we end up catching the ball on the 47 yard line for a what is that 53 yards or so beautiful pass over the top to Tyreek Hill and that's what he's able to deliver uh, Just so fast and then speaking of so fast we go back to him again, but unfortunately he drops the pass Gets a little bit of a turbulence a little bit of turbulence right there But we're good to go second and ten right here one thing you will notice is ever that Everson Green well besides Everson Green is destroying my offensive line is that he is uh, I haven't run the ball yet, you know, they have 79 overall running backs you know, uh, Kareem Hunt's too busy with, you know, slapping girls for no damn reason. And uh, we end up taking a 3 to nothing league, which is a very sad situation. You know, um, you should never, uh, I don't care what the situation calls for, unless it's a life or death situation, you shouldn't put your hands on a woman. I'm definitely against that. Um, but do I believe people uh, can get second chances? I do. Did he mess up? Yes. Was it disgusting? Yes. Should he have ever done it? Yes, uh, should does he deserve a second chance? You know the man dedicated his whole life to playing football What he did was disgusting, but you know if he can learn from that become a better man be an example to the community You know and be the a leader and you know change and um, Not only showcase his changes off the field, but again, you know Hopefully um, he can dedicate some of his time to people that are in that situation and trying to better their lives and you know he went through it and you know just try to make his life better um we do fall i could talk about that situation forever but he, we do end up run committing right there on third and one and he's calling like stock plays and stock plays and head-to-head -head are so hell because you know there's i i just i'm struggling out here i'm struggling out here with an 82 overall defense and he's taking advantage of it. he's dying me up and i, I can't stop him 
Uh, seven to three right here. Let's see if we can go on ahead and get in some good range. I know he's playing cover three, and we do hit him with the cover three beater over the top. And again, there's Mahomes, who threw it all the way to about their 20 yard line from our 10 to like their 20 yard line. I mean, he could do the medicine, like, what, 70 yard bomb right there to Tyreek Hill, who has the speed to get behind the secondary. And Mahomes has the arm strength to get it where it needs to go. And we end up scoring a touchdown and taking a three point lead. So, right now, the goal is to, you know, head into the half with hopefully this same score or if we can go ahead and get a stop score again that'll be great but we do get ball at the half so we obviously want like right there i'm thinking how does the quarterback not play that like how that why doesn't he play that because i'm used to 99 zone and 99 zone as soon as the quarterback and right here i rank him it i didn't think he would come out in a wildcat you know pass but um we do um i'm used to 99 zone where as soon as the quarterback starts winding up with the throw they'll start to break on a pass and things are just so different they're completely different and again it's going to take me a while to get used to I, I, like right there the cornerback is just completely backing off like nelson is just nowhere near like like the ball is lob and he wants to stay away from it but again those are things i got to get used to i got to know what type of thankfully he was above the line of scrimmage right there i got to know what uh cornerbacks are able to you know jump some routes and right there we were on aggressive he checks for the very first time all game and um, the reason why I didn't check to see if he was on aggressive is because I was on aggressive. And the last thing I want to do is kind of give him a, a, a reminder like, hey, you should be checking for aggressive. So um, now that he caught me on aggressive, I'm now going to check to see if he's on aggressive because Everson Griffin is killing me. And speaking of killing me, inside slant right there for the touchdown takes the lead 14 to 10. But we do get ball at the half. And you guys know when it comes to this game of Madden. When you got uh, 20 seconds plus two timeouts, that's plenty of time to get in field goal range. And uh, we'll see if we can go ahead and make that happen. So, all right, here we go. 21 seconds remaining. See if we can get something going. And a uh, little pump fake right there. We're looking for Tyreek Stern. And, of course, that man is open. And we end up running out of bounds to save us some time. So now we're in good shape. You know, about a first down, and we'll get a field goal on the board. But then we take off. X does... You know, he does have a step, but unfortunately, I pass the line of scrimmage myself. Leaves us only six seconds remaining, and that's enough time for just one play. We're just going to go ahead and chuck it up and, and hope for the best. And unfortunately, the best is an interception. So uh, we are going to go into the half down four. Now, the streak is at stake. The 8-0 winning streak is at stake here in head-to-head -head regs. And I'm going to be honest, I don't feel comfortable on defense. This defense, it really isn't that good. I'm struggling here. He's just completely everything, every play he calls is working for him. I can't, I can't stop him. But I know as long as I get some good blocking, my offense will be good. And there we go. We check. And, of course, he was on aggressive. Again, I didn't check because I was on aggressive myself. So we got him off of aggressive. And when we do that, he sends a screamer uh, B-gap right there. So nice blitz by him getting Anthony Barr right there. But now that we're, he's not on aggressive, you know, now we got more time in the pocket. And we end up chucking it up to X, who was open way earlier. But I just seen him way too late. So third down, third and long, we need a big play right here, and we get screamed at. And you guys know the rules, man. Fourth down, swagger tree. We're going to go on ahead, punt the ball, and uh, take advantage of the time being five minutes per quarter. Definitely plenty of time for me to come back. So, um, you know, he runs the ball again, and, and I'm getting no shits. Like, I can't stop the run. I, I'm selling out to stop the run. I'm 3-4. I'm pinching. I got everyone right in front of the line of scrimmage. I'm packing the box. And I still cannot stop the run. You see, he's just calling, like, Vikes power. And, and, and I cannot stop the run. So now it's like, okay, three receivers. Let's see if we sense a pressure here. Let's see if we go on ahead and get ourselves maybe a blitz here with a, a little bit of crossfire. See if we go on ahead and get lucky. And he's going to just run the ball. And a, a decent run. We finally stopped the run, right? Like, finally. So second and eight right here. We send the screamers again. Thankfully, that was batted down. Because if you look, the wide receiver on the right, he was on two, was wide open. Third and eight, we get a big boy sack right there. Get him out of, completely out of field goal range. I mean, he wasn't in field goal range, but get him out of scoring range. And uh, he's going to go ahead and punt the ball. So now it's like, all right, a minute 50 remaining. We got to put points on the board here, even if it's a field goal. Uh, you know, because, again, there's plenty of time with five-minute corners. That right there was the very first rushing attempt of the game. And I figure I got to run the ball. Maybe that's why I'm, I feel like I'm in a box. We got rid of the ball slightly before Everson Griffin comes around, and we, we just can't block him. Third and now we need a big play. And who else but Samuel Watkins comes up with a big play. Now, his user was there, but, you know, we end up throwing it, and thankfully he held on. We go underneath to the running back, and Williams breaks the tackle, and he runs off for another clean 20-plus yards. And that right there was huge. Puts us close to midfield. We decide to run the ball again, and we get ourselves a good gain. End of the third quarter. 
Fourth quarter is here, so now it's like, all right, baby, let's ball out. Let's put some points on the board, put the pressure on, get a stop, and win this game, Mr. McNasty. So we try a toast right there, and that goes absolutely nowhere. So third down right here, third and five. We go underneath to the running back. We get stopped. Now, this is the very first time I went for it all year on fourth down. We're down four, too close to punt, too far for a field goal. These are the situations where I will go for it, and we throw a hot one to Tyreek Hill. Ordinarily, I'm kicking out four. That's literally the first time all year. Um, I went for it on fourth down. But again, we're down in you know the 44 yard line. I feel like any NFL team would go for it. So second and now we try to go to the running back right here or the tight end and we get murdered. So now it's like okay, we're gonna come out on the exact same play, but this time I'm gonna put Sherman, I'm gonna put Kelsey there because I put you know a whole bunch of tight ends over there to block for me. So now we're gonna now this right here is very very important. Pay attention. Pay because I pay attention to everything, right? I now take a look. He's been using the middle linebacker all game. All game. Wait a minute, he moves on the left side. So if he's there, I know he's not going to be there quick enough to cover the slant with the tight end. I hike the ball, zoom the ball to Kelsey, and we end up scoring, and we end up taking the lead. We end up doing a little shimmy, and then he ends up quitting. So that right there is the end of the game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, him literally just moving. If he just stayed still, because in ranks you can't see where their user are. If he just stayed still, that play does not happen. But because I noticed he moved, and I noticed that the middle of the field was going to be vacant, and I'm pretty sure he was waiting for the running back route, I decided to go for the uh, the slant very quickly over the middle, and I was correct with my assessment. It was wide open, and we end up winning. And then I'm looking for my fourth down percent. It was 100, y'all. It was 100, and unfortunately it goes down to 80. <laughs> but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, man. It's your boy, GS. Let me know what team you guys want me to use next. Until next time, appreciate the support as always. Peace.